Right now, what's happening today in the case of a contractor who scammed more than 100 customers in Wisconsin? I was basically in tears when I walked in. Plus, we'll show you how local students are helping disabled toddlers reach important milestones. And the rain has passed, but I'll show you your weekend forecast coming up. Happy Friday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. We've got St. Patrick's Day weekend coming up. For parade on Sunday, hoping for some nice weather, but it does not look like we will get it. Jacob Montesano has been laying this out for us and preparing us for it all week long and is here to let us know what's going on today and this weekend. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Chris. Although it is going to be cold for St. Patrick's Day, I feel like a lot of people will take the cold weather and dry conditions versus what we saw yesterday, which was pretty much rain all day. Now, the rain has passed. We are seeing dry conditions across the entire state. But obviously, we had plenty of rainfall yesterday. And looking at radar estimated precipitation, a lot of Dane County and areas just to the east saw around an inch to an inch and a half. And in the far southern portion of the state, near the Illinois border, a lot of areas saw around a half inch to a full inch. Now, for the Dells and places north, pretty much no rainfall fell. And that's also the areas that are dealing with the drought, while the southeastern portion of the state not really seeing the drought. And looking at Madison's rainfall, we're above average, not just since the beginning of March, but also since the beginning of year and that is the one positive of having very above average temperatures during the winter is typically when that happens we do see a little bit more rainfall and precipitation in general. Now looking at the current temperatures middle to lower 30s across Dane County so it is pretty chilly this morning. A few locations in the 20s 29 in Lone Rock 24 in Camp Douglas middle 30s uh, for areas near the Illinois border but not too far off from what we normally see for this time of year it actually is a little bit above average and temperatures today are going to be pretty comfortable we'll have highs in the middle to lower 50s. 50s. Not quite as warm as it was earlier in the week, but we're really not going to see any wind today. So these temperatures may feel a tad bit warmer, especially with all of the sunshine. But I'll talk more in detail about your weekend forecast coming up a little bit later. OK, talk to you then. Thank you, Jacob. Today, we'll find out how much a local contractor who scammed his customers will have to pay. It's a case News 3 Now has investigated for years. In 2023, Tyler Hansen of Fort Atkinson pleaded guilty to charges of wire fraud and money laundering. Prosecutors say he used customers' money for personal expenses for at least two years. Hansen's accused of stealing more than $800,000. On top of the money he has to pay back, Hansen will spend seven years in prison. This morning, UW-Madison is making students aware of a sexual assault at a fraternity just off campus. Students received a crime warning email Thursday. In it, UW says the assault happened early Friday, March 8th. This was in a frat on Langdon Street. The victim and the offender both know each other. The incident wasn't reported to UWPD, but News 3 has reached out to them regarding any potential investigation into the reported assault. If you or someone you know is a victim of sexual assault violence, uh, there are resources available to help. You can call the RCC Sexual Violence Resource Center in Madison. That 24-hour hotline is on your screen right now. You can also find it at this story at channel3000.com anytime. The mother of missing three-year-old Elijah Vu will be arraigned next week. Katrina Bauer appeared virtually from jail in Manitowoc County Court yesterday. She waived her right to a preliminary hearing. Her partner, Jesse Vang, also briefly appeared in court. He's still without a lawyer. His hearing quickly adjourned. Both are facing charges of child neglect and are not charged in his disappearance. Bauer's arraignment is on the 22nd. Vang will be back in court on the 21st. News 3 Now will continue to provide updates on this story as soon as we get them. You can follow along on the free Channel 3000 mobile app. Almost 20 years after the burning of St. Raphael's Cathedral, the Madison Diocese is putting the question of whether to rebuild or relocate to rest. This morning, News 3 Now is looking into the past and into the future of Madison's cathedrals. Our Kyle Pazorski reports. A church. It was kind of like, you know, an anchor. A fire. The flames were just pouring out so sad. A community left in shock. So many good things have happened in that, in that cathedral. On March 14th of 2005, William Connell, a transient seeking shelter, set fire to St. Raphael's Cathedral. These striking buildings stood proudly on West Main Street for 150 years. 
then in a matter of minutes engulfed in smoke and flames. And it was this an overwhelming sadness personally. Former News 3 reporter Joel Despain knows the story of St. Rafe's well. He reported on the fire for days after it happened. It appeared to be a pilgrimage of sorts. They just had to see it for themselves. He tells me the feeling of sadness he had then still remains. I love history. I love the city. And we don't have that many old buildings. Despain met on the former site of St. Rafe's, which has since been turned into a park. In the days following the destructive fire, many hoped, prayed, thought a new cathedral would be built here. You know, it's nice to have green space here, but you thought there would be something here, you know, that the church would have done something with this property by now. Instead, years of legal battle ensued over the park's tax exemption status. The church hasn't paid taxes on the site since 2019, and it's a sensitive subject, one Bishop Donald Hyen declined to speak on during a one-on-one -on -one interview for Channel3000.com. And while Bishop Hyen wouldn't comment on the future of this site, he says the future of St. Bernard's is coming along very well. Within a couple of weeks, there'll be something like 36 cement trucks, load, loads of cement uh, coming in to pour the floor. Sitting down for our interview at the diocese offices, we asked Bishop Hyen what it means to finally settle the cathedral question as they close out their second decade without one. It was in January when Hyen went to the press to announce the momentous decision. This, this is a big deal. Creating a new cathedral is really once in probably five, six generations. So this is a hugely significant step for us. The move to renovate St. Bernard's coming after many deliberations of how to be more resourceful as a diocese. A downtown site was deemed too costly compared to that of the renovation. Hein says while looking at other factors as well, choosing to renovate was the best option on the table. This is a, a church that will stand for the ages, so it's, it's a wise investment of our resources now, but it's certainly a, a prudent step forward. Stepping forward to a new chapter with a new mother church. In Madison, Kyle Pazorski, News 3 Now. 606 Now. In a STEM-turned service project, students in Janesville are helping toddlers with disabilities. Local middle and high schoolers have been spending their time engineering cars customized for toddlers with mobility restrictions. Because mobility helps kids develop mentally, the cars allow them to hit milestone they'd otherwise be unable to. Now teenage engineers get to see their work in action. It kind of all clicks together. And once you see the kid, meet the kid, and have them be happy once you're finished with the project. How wonderful is that? After the toddlers took the cars for a little test drive, their families took the vehicles home for everyday use. Hey, get out your green t-shirts because St. Patrick's Day weekend is upon us, right? Here in Madison, the annual St. Patrick's Day parade is going to be on the holiday this year. It starts at 1.30 in the afternoon on the square this Sunday. Let's check in with Jacob Montesano now and your forecast. Hey. Yeah, temperatures today are going to be fairly comfortable, but we are going to see a cool down in the near future. I'll talk about that coming up. Coming up in your morning sports, we're talking about the Big Ten tournament. We're hearing from the Badger men's basketball team after their big win last night over Northwestern. <laughs> And St. Patrick's Day weekend is here in the 608, and that means a beloved tradition here on News 3 Now this morning as we are dancing with the Trinity Irish dancers in Wanakee. Stay tuned for all the fun. Next. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Habitat for Humanity of Dane County doesn't just build homes. We build financially strong families. Habitat Homes financed through affordable mortgages allow hardworking families to break the cycle of poverty and invest in their futures. Your support changes lives. Please donate today. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm-hmm. Are you foreign print certain? 
Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Talk to myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. The Planet Fitness Black Card is packed with perks. Not like other gyms. Hi, can I bring my friend to work out? No. Well, um, is my membership good at other locations? No. 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 No? Yeah, no. No what? No. Okay. This is better. For just $1 down, you can bring a friend for free anytime. Work out at any of our 2,500 plus locations and enjoy access to the Black Card Spa. The Planet Fitness Black Card. Join now for $1 down, $24.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, March 15th. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hey, hey. Come on, Michael, you got this! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! You did it! I did it! 30-minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. When you download the Pick and Save app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks show up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Wednesday at 6.30 on WISC TV3. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. It is St. Patrick's Day weekend in the 608. We are catching up with the Trinity Irish Dancers as we do every year. Josh Breider is live at their dance studio. We want to keep this morning hanging out with the, everyone. Hey there, Josh. Hey, good morning, Chris. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day weekend is here. We are super excited because, of course, this means an annual tradition here on News 3 Now this morning. The dancers are ready to give us a little preview of what you can expect this St. Patrick's Day. But first, I want to talk to their instructor, Catherine O'Neill. Catherine, thank you so much for having us back. Thank you for coming back again. We're so excited to have you. This is always one of our favorite mornings yes. because there's so much talent in this room. Oh, yeah. And there's so much work that goes into this. Yep. Yeah, they've been practicing since December. Um, Irish dance really is a year-round activity, but gearing up for St. Patrick's Day season, because it truly is a season, we'll start in December, have practices, and then this week, this month, is really the big time that they get to shine and um, bring the talent to the community. We're really excited. Their schedule is jam-packed, and yes, you guys have is. a big weekend ahead, yes. so there are plenty of ways for folks to be able to come out and support the dancers. Yes, absolutely. You can catch us um, at some local bars and restaurants, including Craftsman Tap and Table, Brick Cider, um, Thirsty Goat and Patty Max, as well as the parade on Sunday. It's going to be a big weekend. We have all of that up on channel3000.com, including the links right there. And you guys are always looking for dancers, too. Yes. So if people are interested, they see this, they're yes. like, I want to do this. You, they can. Absolutely. Please join us. Um, we're offering a lot of introductory sessions over the spring and summer. Um, we take dancers starting at as ages three. Um, and we're just, we're really excited to welcome new folks. If you're interested, you can go to trinityirishdancers.com um, and we'll see you soon. And what kind of performance are they going to give us right now? We are going to see something called the Eris Reel and you're going to see um, a special guest performance in here as well. Wonderful. All awesome. right, take it away. Thanks.
Nice job, the Trinity Irish Dancers in Wanakee this morning. Again, you can check them out all weekend long as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And coming up in about a half hour, another tradition here on the morning show. You guys get to see my clunky feet. They're going to teach me the Irish jig, and I'm going to be jumping on the dance floor with them, Chris. That's coming up around 642. Oh, I love to see it every year. It's one of my favorite things. Josh Breider will talk to you again here soon. 614, Jacob Montesano taking care of your forecast this morning. What's going on, Jacob? Well, today is going to be a fairly comfortable day as temperatures will remain above average. And that's going to be the case tomorrow as well. But tomorrow we will see some breezy conditions develop and that will continue into the end of the weekend as temperatures fall for Sunday and Monday. So first, here's a look at your bus stop forecast. A little bit chilly in the morning with temperatures in the 30s, but we're going to see plenty of sunshine. And that's also the case for the afternoon as temperatures will rise into the upper 40s to lower 50s. Uh, warmer than yesterday, but cooler compared to earlier in the week where we saw 60s and even a few 70s across our area. Now, as we head towards the weekend, as I mentioned, the temperatures Saturday will still be what they're going to be today, kind of around that 50 degree range, but it is going to be a bit windy and there'll be more clouds tomorrow with the clouds continuing Sunday and the temperatures will fall for Sunday with highs in the upper 30s. And with the breezy conditions, we could be talking about wind chills in the 20s. So if you plan on attending the St. Patrick's Day Parade, definitely bundle up. It's going to be a cold one. That's also the case for Monday. And as temperatures warm up towards the middle of the week, they're not going to uh, warm up quite as much as what we will see today. We're going to see temperatures struggling to reach 50 degrees. And by the time we get to the middle of next week, we're going to be talking about average high temperatures in the middle 40s. So the warmest it will be will be just slightly above average. And that's going to continue through the end of the week with possibly below average temperatures returning. So starting Sunday, we're going to start a trend of of near to possibly below average temperatures, which is a big switch over what we've seen the last couple of months. And there's not really a huge end in sight to the cold weather because towards the end of the 10 day forecast, we do have a chance of some rain and snow. But for the next seven days, we're going to be very dry through the first half of next week. However, starting Friday, we do have a very solid chance of precipitation, and it looks like that's the case for a lot of the United States. And because temperatures will be kind of on that uh, rain, the, the cusp of freezing, we could see some rain, snow, possibly even some freezing rain. Still unclear if that will happen, but at the very least, we are expected to see a decent amount of moisture towards the end of next week and next weekend with, uh, again, rain, snow, possibly some freezing rain, but we'll have more details on that system as it gets closer. Just enjoy the weather today because this will likely be the war, uh, the nicest day for uh, the next 10 days going forward. All right. We know you'll track that for us. Thanks, Jacob. A quick programming note. Next Wednesday, we're going to carry the Bucks Celtics games here on Channel 3. The Bucks game starts at 630. So Survivor and the Amazing Race are going to be on television, Wisconsin. That's 3.2 over the year. Survivor begins at 7, Amazing Race at 8.30, of course. Once the game is over, Amazing Race will come back on air in progress and continue on TW. If you can't access TW, you can watch CBS primetime programming the next day on CBS.com. Twenty years ago, Wisconsin won their first Big Ten title. Fast forward to now, and Greg Gard's squad begins their journey to win the program's fourth. Maryland up first for UW as they try to win four games in four days, and this was one of those that's over before it started type deals. Stephen Crowell spots up and splashes home the triple, and that would be a theme for Bucky. Then later, Tyler Wall finds A.J. Store, and he sinks the three ball. Wisconsin made 16 of them and shot 64% from the land of three. And John Blackwell simply could not miss. He made four from distance and finished with a team high 18 and is asking everybody, why you leave me open? Wisconsin dominates Maryland. 87-56 is your final. Andrew Banster was there and has more on the Wisconsin team that's looking like the one we saw back in January. This season has been a tale of two different Badger teams. One that won 15 of 17 games and was the number six ranked team in the country. And then there's the one that lost eight of 11 games heading into the Big Ten tournament. Even after just one half of basketball, though, it was safe to say which Badgers team showed up to the Twin Cities. And store is open and store buries it. I've seen a trend of us, you know, just how we practiced, how we've approached things that were, you know, we're, we're escalating towards where we want to be and and, um, and it's you're going to go through those flows during a season the key is don't you know if you hit a little dip 
just keep working your way out of it. I think we're better when I'm aggressive, and that's a courtesy to my teammates also. Like you said, uh, getting me the ball down low when I need it or kicking it out for threes. And um, like Coach said earlier, I thought we just did a great job of sharing the rock all around and knocking down those open shots. And hopefully, like I said earlier, we can do it tomorrow too. I just thank my teammates and my coaches for preparing me in the summer um, and preseason to prepare me to play at this level. Um, all I did was work and uh, stay in the gym, kept my head down, um, and my hard work is paying off. The State Boys Basketball Tournament underway. The Lakeside Lutheran back for the second straight year, taking on Keel in the D3 semifinals. Warriors down in the second half, but they battled back. Alex Ranke downs one up from deep to make it a five-point game. Then later, it's Casey Guzman. That dude is clutch. He takes it to the cup for two of his game-high 21. He'd also hit the game winner to send Lakeside Lutheran on to the finals with a 57-55 win. Down in Division Four, Eli Lindsay and Mineral Point back at state for the first time since 2015, taking on Aquinas. And in case you didn't know, Landon Thousand is a bucket. Number three had a monster game for the Pointers. 24 points to lead his team, including a game-winning tray. Now his teammate, Drew Ashleman, well, he also came to play. Drew rolls in the jumper for two of his 17 as Mineral Point moves on to the finals with a 62-61 win. And the Bucks back at it, hosting the 76ers. It's a one-point game in the fourth quarter, and A.J. Green changes that in a big way. The former UNI Panther makes it rain with that splash from three. He dropped in 14 off the bench, and then later in the quarter, that two-man game with Giannis and Dame is just hard to spot. The big man kisses it off the glass for two. He finished with 32. Bucks win 114 to 105. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. You too, Zach. When we come back, the animal meat scientists say could be good for the planet. And why? Back right after this. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. It's Blaze Farm and Fleet's Rewards Members Spring Early Bird Event. Now through March 20th, we're showing extra appreciation to our rewards members with exclusive members-only deals. Right now, get a half-price Mobile One oil filter when you buy a five-quart jug of oil. Buy three tires, get one free. Rewards members get an extra $25 instant savings and up to a $100 consumer rebate when you buy four Cooper tires. Plus, this Sunday only, rewards members save an extra 10% in-store during Blaine's Farm and Fleet's private shopping night. Madison's most spectacular night out is Moulin Rouge, the musical. Winner of 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical. The New York Times calls it dazzling, gasp-inspiring. In Moulin Rouge, life is beautiful. Performances begin July 9th at Overture Center. Tickets at Overture.org. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, oh, no. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, 
I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. We're back sharing Gwen's morning with everyone. Some lovely flowers here in, well, maybe her garden. We're not sure whose garden it <laughs> is or where it is. Maybe it's a plant store. I don't know. She hasn't told us yet. We want to thank her, though, for sending in the picture. It looks great. That has me thinking spring. Thanks again, Gwen. All right, so uh, if you're thinking about spicing up your, your grilling activity this spring, uh, scientists want you to consider snake meat. That's right, snake meat. Scientists say using pythons as a food source could help combat global hunger by providing some much-needed protein sources in areas that are hit hard by climate change. Pythons are more efficient to raise compared to other livestock. They require less food and water. They also grow faster. They're also harder to maintain. <laughs> <laughs> Who, yeah, I, right. Who wants to be the, the python farmer? Right. Fascinating. Uh, I looked it up. Pythons do have uh, very high protein levels and very low fat levels for 100 grams of snake meat. It's 22 and a half grams of protein, uh, only two or three grams of fat. I mean, you were talking, uh, when we did this earlier, you were saying like how they're mostly made of muscle. I mean, it I, makes sense. Yeah, how right? many animals don't have legs and can just move around they're at ease? <laughs> they're lean, mean, striking machines. And they're fast, especially, right? like I said, especially if you're saying that they don't even have legs. <laughs> well, we'll see if anything happens here. <laughs> Maybe you see a snake in your local grocery store. I don't know. We're back with your forecast after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. After my son was born, I was having a hard time leaving him. Only being able to see him once before going to work and then once before bed, that's just not enough time. At my old job, my entire check went to daycare to pay to be away from my child. We bring our kids with us in the mornings and they ride with us on our routes and then they go to school. I'm on a route where I'm the one dropping my kids off at school. It's been phenomenal. Being able to bring them with me has been really great for our family. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower, so he went right to work on it. I think he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 60% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Surgenian's landfill-free guarantee has kept more than 20 million pounds of commercial and residential carpet and pad from area landfills. Visit Madison's largest showroom of flooring options, including eco-friendly products. Local. Sustainable. Surgenian's. steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. 
Are record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. This morning it is Big Ten tournament time. We'll show you how the Badger men's basketball team did when the wins start to matter more. Plus, the TikTok ban, where it goes now that it's past the house, and what you can do now to protect your data and privacy. And with the rain coming to an end, I'll talk you through the weekend forecast coming up. Good Friday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. St. Patrick's Day weekend is here. Got my green jacket on. I hope you are getting ready for something fun this weekend. If you're thinking about heading to the parade on Sunday, we've got an update for you in the forecast. Jacob Montesano has got that first one forecast for you. Hey, Jacob, what can we expect today and this weekend? Today is going to be fairly comfortable, but it is going to be windy and colder over the weekends. And I don't have a uh, anything green related. Now, it's it wouldn't be an issue here, but a lot of other stations with a green screen, uh, you'd be able to see right through me. So it wouldn't be smart to have anything green, although yours is pretty as a pretty uh, dark green. But anyway, I just want to uh, throw that out there. Here's a look at the current radar. Not seeing anything at the moment. Really not going to see much precipitation going forward. But obviously, we saw plenty bit of rainfall yesterday. And here's a look at the rainfall estimates over the last 24 hours. Dane County and areas just to the east saw around an inch to an inch and a half. Areas near the Illinois border saw around a half inch to a full inch. But for the Dells and places further north, pretty much no rainfall fell. And that's also some of the areas dealing with the uh, worst drought in the southeastern portion of the state. A lot of the area not under a drought at all, but I mean, we'll still we'll still we'll still take the rain that we get, especially this time of the year. So looking at the precipitation for Madison compared to average, we're above average by over an inch for March so far. And since the beginning of the year, we actually are above average as well. And typically when we have warmer temperatures, we see more rainfall in general. So looking at the current temperatures, middle to lower 30s across Dane County. So it is pretty chilly this morning, but still above average for this time of the year. Average lows in the middle to upper 20s. Uh, it is in the 20s further north in central Wisconsin, uh, but for the most part, a pretty typical cold morning uh, here for middle uh, middle March. As we look at the forecast today, though, we are going to see highs uh, possibly reach the lower 50s for our entire area. And the best news is that A, is going to be sunny, and B, there's really going to be no wind. So it's going to be a pretty comfortable day, but that's not going to be the case uh, later this weekend. I'll talk you through your St. Patrick's Day forecast coming up a bit later. Talk to you then. Jacob, thank you. This morning, the Badger men's basketball team is moving on to the Big Ten tournament. Wisconsin took on Maryland yesterday in a game that quickly got out of hand. The team just dialed in from three-point range last night. They started with six straight three-pointers. John Blackwell makes it a 13-point game with that one. He was four of six from three-point range. Later, Stephen Crowell dies one up from deep. That uh, put the team up by 21 at the half. They ended up going on to win by 31. Big Stephen finished with 17. Blackwell had a team high 18. Starting to see more of what we were back in January. Uh, I felt that the last week or so. Um, that we were trending back in the right direction and really starting to click, and today it showed again. So um, looking forward to tomorrow against a very good Northwestern team, and um, but we're going to enjoy this for a little bit before we prep tonight for, for them. Northwestern is ranked fourth in the tournament in Minneapolis. If the Badgers win today, there are only two more games until the final. A uh, programming note related to next week's Bucks games, we want to make sure that you know how to watch your favorite shows. Next Wednesday, we're going to be carrying the Bucks Celtics game at 6:30, which means Survivor and The Amazing Race will be on Television Wisconsin. That's 3.2 over the air and on cable and satellite services. Survivor begins at 7 p.m. The Amazing Race at 8:30. Once the Bucks game is done, Amazing Race will be joined in progress and continue on TW. Those who are unable to access TW over the air on cable or satellite have the option of watching CBS primetime programming the following day on CBS.com. In Washington, the bill to ban TikTok, it's on its way to the Senate. This week, the House passed the bill with ease. But will that ban actually happen? And what will happen if you have the app on your phone right now? Our Braden Ross reports. 
I have been screaming for so long about the TikTok ban that I want everybody to know TikTok is being banned today. You mean to tell me they're talking about deleting TikTok tomorrow? If you're a regular TikTok user, this week's headlines may have you wondering if your favorite pastime is under attack. But there's no need to worry just yet. So first of all, this isn't a ban. Secondly, um, nothing is going to happen right away. The bill introduced by Green Bay Area Representative Mike Gallagher would require TikTok's Chinese parent company ByteDance to sell the app. We give them six months and after that they won't be hosted on U.S. app stores and the, the website will be impeded as well. Wisconsin's Democratic representatives were two of only 65 that voted against the bill Wednesday. Madison Area Representative Mark Pocan took to X after the vote, writing in part, quote, we need to address data privacy across all social networks and not just single out one platform. Cybersecurity expert Dave Schrader agrees data privacy concerns aren't unique to TikTok, but he says there's a bigger issue at play here. It's more about what you're shown on the app and why. It's the algorithm. That's the concern. Supporters of the bill say TikTok's Chinese ownership could mean the Chinese Communist Party can influence what American users see on the app. There's no such thing as, as a fully private company in China. The Chinese government has shown that it will remove content that's objectionable um, up from TikTok, especially on issues that it considers sensitive. Um, things like Taiwan, things like Tibet, things like Xinjiang. Should we be scared of TikTok? I think the answer it to that is to be aware to have an awareness of this and to question, you know, when you search for something on TikTok or anywhere, or when you see something that's going viral, ask yourself why you're being shown that versus something else. As far as the data privacy concerns goes, Schrader has a few tips. Accessing social media platforms through your browser rather than an app can keep them from collecting some of that data. You can also turn off things like location services and access to contacts and photos in your device settings. Braden Ross reporting there. A live look now at the U.S. Capitol. The FCC is adopting a new proposal to create a new emergency alert that could help save the lives of missing and endangered indigenous people. The new alert code would function a lot like an amber or a silver alert and make it easier for public safety officials to use TV, radio, and cell phones to alert the public to cases of missing individuals. The FCC is seeking public comment on the proposal before moving forward to the final vote to create that new alert code. At the state capitol this morning, Governor Evers will likely sign a new bill to start constructing electric vehicle charging stations. It will change how drivers pay for electric charging, making them pay for the amount of energy used instead of the amount of time at the charger. Chelsea Handler with Clean Wisconsin says the efforts will help us reduce our carbon footprint. Transportation makes up about a quarter of Wisconsin's greenhouse gas emissions, so cars really can have a big impact and going electric can significantly reduce those emissions. So once the law is signed and takes effect, Wisconsin drivers can expect to begin seeing more charging stations along highways and transportation corridors. That includes convenience stores, restaurants, gas stations, and more. In this morning's health news, today is Long COVID Awareness Day. A recent study estimates millions of children are suffering from long COVID. The study coming out of NYU Grossman School of Medicine estimates up to 5.8 million young people have long COVID. COVID Long COVID symptoms include headache, loss of taste and smell, brain fog, and pain. The study's authors say that one major challenge in tracking the illness is that symptoms can vary. Long COVID can look different in different children, that not everybody has the same symptoms, and that it can look different depending on when the symptoms start. The research suggests long COVID could lead to multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, which can be deadly. Most children, though, with long COVID recover over several months. About a third experience symptoms one year later. In more local news now, Ulrich Botanical Gardens announcing its summer concert series. This year is going to be a little bit different from what we're used to. It's now called Ulrich After Hours. Performances will run weekly on Tuesday nights from June 25th through August 13th. Doors open at 6, music starts at 7. In addition to the live performances, Ulbrich is bringing in some food carts, an on-site bar, and other offerings. Admissions free, but a suggested $5 donation sure does go a long way to support musicians and performers. And since this weekend is St. Patrick's Day, AAA is offering up free rides home for folks who might have had too much to drink. It runs from 6 p.m. today to 6 a.m. Monday. The Toe to Go campaign offers a free ride home for potentially impaired drivers 
and their vehicles. However, AAA does ask that anyone who uses this service does it as a last resort. To set up a call, give TOACO a call at the number on your screen. It's 855-286-9246. Maybe put it in your phone. 855-286-9246. Jacob? And today is going to be fairly comfortable, but we are seeing colder temperatures for St. Patrick's Day. I'll have the full forecast coming up. Celebrating St. Patrick's Day in the 608 this morning, of course, with the Trinity Irish Dancers in Wanakee. Coming up, they're going to throw me onto the dance floor and teach me the Irish jig. You are not going to want to miss this when News for Now this morning continues. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. You've got this. Your big moment on their big day. The dress? Another one you'll never wear. Gift? Practical. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with early pay on direct deposits. So when you get invited to your third destination wedding in as many months, we'll be there with you. When we first met Todd, we thought Jen was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you've got this with Associated Bank. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Pella's free in-home consultations make replacing or redesigning your windows and doors easy. We go beyond just measuring and handing you a quote. We take the time to listen and educate you on all your product options so you can be confident in choosing the look and functionality that's right for you. And with DesignWorks, you can see what your home will look like before you buy. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months when you order by March 31st. Set your free consultation at PellaWI.com. Shop family-owned Brothers Maine for our large selection, low-price deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. Your logo can identify your company, inspire your customers, and energize your team. We're 4imprint, and we can help your logo create moments that matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now. Moving forward. Our community is full of wonderful, giving people. Tell us about the good you see. Go to Channel 3000 or post it using the hashtag Do Something Good. I'll share your stories on News 3 Now. Let's do something good. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. It is St. Patrick's Day weekend in the 608 this morning. We are catching up with the Trinity Irish Dancers. Josh Breider is live at their dance studio in Wanakee. And this is one of my favorite things every year. We get to see <laughs> Josh himself dance with the dancers. Can't wait. Josh, what do you have for us? Oh my gosh, Chris, I know you love this part because you get to see my clunky feet right here with the Trinity Irish Dancers. They're going to teach me the Irish jig. We're going to go through it, put it through some music, and then we'll see a little bit more of a performance that you could expect this St. Patrick's Day weekend because this is a fun weekend for the Trinity Irish Dancers. Audrey's the one that's helping me out. Audrey, good to see you. Good to see you, too. How long have you been dancing for? Um, this is my 13th year. I've been dancing since I was about four. Holy cow. What's your favorite part? performing out in the community and just like being with my friends and all that stuff. I love that. So you're going to help me learn the Irish jig. I've done this yes. a couple of times, but I'm a little clunky with my feet. So if people at home want to join in, uh, yes. kind of give us a little bit of a rundown on how this works. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to point your right foot out in front. 
You're gonna bring it up to your knee, and then you're gonna put it in back and do three steps. One, two, three. Then do it again. Point, knee, put it in back. One, two, three. Again, point, knee, put it in back. One, two, three. And then we have a special ending. So you're gonna bring your foot up to your knee, then you're gonna put it in back, put it in back again, and do three steps. One, two, three. And there you go. There Let's we go. Let's try to some music. All right, Catherine, <laughs> hit the music. <laughs> okay. One, two, ready, go. Point and knee, hop back, step, step, step. Point, knee, hop back, step, step, step. Point, knee, hop back, step, step, step. Knee, hop back, hop back, step, step, step. And point, and bow. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just like that. Yep. Anybody can do it. For sure, yeah. And anyone. that's kind of where you start with the basics there and mm -hmm. kind of build off of that. Yes, for sure. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to give us a little bit of performance. What yep. is your favorite part of the performance that you guys are about to give us right here on News 3? Um, all the jumps, all the big kicks, and just a lot of fun. This okay. is big time. All right, get into your places here, and I'll let Catherine get you guys going. Ready? Finishing with a nice wave. Nice job, guys. Thank you so much for the performances this weekend, and thank you so much for helping me with the Irish jig. If you'd like to check out the Trinity Irish Dancers, you can see them all weekend long celebrating St. Patrick's Day in style. I have that schedule up on channel3000.com. Well, Chris, this is like year four or five with me learning that Irish jig. I think I'm getting better. The feet are still a little bit of clunky. I did have my lucky socks on today, so I got the pot of gold at the oh. end of the rainbow, so I was hoping that helped me out a little bit. I still think next year we got to get you guys in the studio involved as well and just see how your feet look right here on the dance floor. What do you think, Chris? Uh, easy for me to judge when I'm not the one out there dancing myself. Let's <laughs> ask photojournalist Mark Schilling. Mark, uh, did he do well? Give me a little shake of the camera and let us know. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mark approved. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Josh I think we got to get Irish Mark involved too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mark's like, no. Nope. That's a quick note from Mark. <laughs> All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Hey, Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you at home in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. All right, Jacob, how would you do? You dance? You got, you got two left feet or are you I did, good? I did do musical theater in high school. Is that right? I have not done, it's been, uh, what, it's been about seven years now since I've done a musical, but... Maybe I can uh, get the hang of it. Hey, shake some rush off. I like it to does see look, out there. I, I can tell you, I can guarantee you that it looks a, it's a lot harder than it looks, for sure. <laughs> but, I believe uh, that. Yeah, let's take a look at the forecast. We are going to see mild temperatures today, but it is going to be cold for uh, St. Patrick's Day. Unfortunately, even though it's been mild the last couple of weeks, it's not going to be the case on St. Patrick's Day. It's also going to be a bit breezy over the weekend as well. So taking a look at the bus stop forecast, we're going to be chilly this morning with sunshine and temperatures in the 30s. And the sunshine is going to continue for the most part during the afternoon, maybe a few clouds, but highs will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. But the best part of the forecast today, other than the sunshine, is we're not really going to see any wind. So the temperatures may even feel a bit warmer with the sun shining. Now, as we go to the weekend, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. We'll see clouds on Saturday and windy conditions, although actual temperatures will be the, uh, pretty similar to today. It will feel a bit cooler. And then for Sunday, the temperatures are going to drop into the upper 30s. And with the windy conditions, we could be talking about wind chill values in the 20s. So definitely bundle up if you plan on attending the St. Patrick's Day Parade. But it, it's going to be cold again for Monday with highs in the middle 30s. 
And then although temperatures will warm up a little bit towards the middle of the week, by this point we're talking about average highs in the middle 40s. So we're going to only be barely above it and then we'll drop back below it towards the weekend. So in general, starting Sunday, we're going to be a bit cooler uh, going forward, which is a kind of a switch from the trend that we have seen over the last couple of months where it's just been above average, above average, above average. That's not necessarily going to be the case next week, although some days will still be a little bit above that. But as far as precipitation goes, we're really not going to see any of it for the next seven days, but we are expected to see some precipitation towards next weekend beyond the seven day forecast. So looking at the seven to 10 day forecast, it shows that rain and possibly some snow, maybe even some freezing rain is expected for the end of next week towards next weekend. Now a lot can change between now and then, but it does look like we are going to see some precipitation during that time frame. So we'll have more updates as it gets closer, but definitely enjoy the weather today because this will probably be the nicest day for quite a while going forward. I don't see any more fifties on there. Jacob, thank you. We're back with the morning sprint next. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. The Planet Fitness Black Card is packed with perks. Not like other gyms. Hi, can I bring my friend to work out? No. Well, um, is my membership good at other locations? No. 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 No? no? Yeah, no. No what? No. Okay. This is better. For just $1 down, you can bring a friend for free anytime. Work out at any of our 2,500 plus locations and enjoy access to the Black Card Spa, the Planet Fitness Black Card. Join now for $1 down, $24.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, March 15th. to celebrate 120 years as a family-owned and operated lumber yard in Wisconsin. Throughout the years, Marlene Lumber and Homeworks has expanded its product lines to include cabinetry, windows, doors, and much more. Our showrooms in Janesville and Madison are state-of-the-art. They're ready for you to see the many ways your building or remodeling vision can come to reality with the help of our in-house designers. Marlene Lumber and Homeworks, for all your building and remodeling needs. Marlene.com, celebrating 120 years. So what did we learn today? The Spectrum One gives people everything that they need at a great price. And what are those things? Super fast internet. Comes with it, yes. A line of unlimited mobile. Now we're cooking, yes, comes with it. Free advanced Wi-Fi. Also comes with it. What else do people want, guys? Uh, a sense of purpose and direction in life. It does come with state-of-the-art security features, which is kind of like the same thing. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month with free advanced Wi-Fi and a free line of unlimited mobile for 12 months. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store today. Americans are doing their best to get by, but with an uncertain economy and prices still rising, budgets are stretched thin. And Washington's new capital regulation is another bill Americans can't afford. Basel III Endgame will make loans, utilities, and groceries more expensive and make it harder to access credit. Families, seniors, farmers, and small businesses are already struggling to make ends meet. Washington needs to scrap Basel III Endgame and start over. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Dane County Regional Airport's Flight of Lights, free and fun for everyone. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. Badger men's basketball off to a hot start in the Big Ten tournament. They took down Maryland 87-56 last night. Today, the Badgers face four-seeded Northwestern after Game 7 wraps up. We now know more about that breaking news we brought you yesterday morning from Rock County. Police say the suspect was a 53-year-old man who shot a bullet in his apartment complex. Investigators say the single shot fire did go through the wall and into another apartment. No one was hit, though. The man is facing multiple charges still, including first degree recklessly endangering safety. 
UW Madison making students aware of a sexual assault at a fraternity just off campus. UW says the assault happened early Friday, March 8th, a week ago at a frat on Langdon Street. The victim and offender know each other. The incident wasn't reported to UW PD, but News 3 did reach out regarding any potential investigation into the report of assault. The mother of missing three-year-old Elijah Vu will be arraigned next week. Katrina Bauer appeared virtually from jail in Manitowoc County Court yesterday. She waived her right to a preliminary hearing. Her partner, Jesse Vang, also briefly appeared in court. He's still without a lawyer. His hearing quickly adjourned. Both are facing charges of child neglect. They are not charged in the child's disappearance. A local contractor who scammed his customers is in court today. Tyler Hansen of Fort Atkinson will find out how much he'll have to pay after pleading guilty to wire fraud and money laundering. Prosecutors say he used his customers' money to pay for personal expenses for years. Hansen will also spend seven years in prison on top of the money he has to pay back. In Waukesha County, a sheriff's deputy is on leave this morning after shooting and killing a suspect. It happened in the town of Eagle yesterday. Police were called to a home uh, home of a 39-year-old man who was firing a gun outside. That's when police say a Waukesha Sheriff's deputy feared for his life and shot the suspect. Life-saving measures were taken at the scene, but the man ultimately died. Well, breaking this morning internationally, McDonald's says it's resolving an issue that's disrupting its online and app orders around the world. The system failure has led to some stores closing. The chain says failure is not due to cybersecurity. So far, the affected countries don't include the U.S. Places having issues right now include Australia, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. Construction of a pier to deliver aid to Gaza begins this morning. About 200 tons of aid have been sent to the pier as the Gaza Strip lacks port infrastructure. The World Food Program says that it had managed to get the first aid convoy into Gaza City since February. And here's one final look at your 10 day. <clears throat> here's one final look at your 10 day forecast. Fairly comfortable today. Highs will be in the 50s with plenty of sunshine. 50s again Saturday, but it will be breezy and cloudy. Uh, 30s for St. Patrick's Day as we are going to continue to see breezy conditions. 30s again Monday. 40s for the rest of next week. Dry for the middle of the week. Uh, rain and possible snow towards the end of it as temperatures don't really warm back up to 50 after tomorrow until beyond the 10 day forecast. We could, get, we could get close to it towards the middle of the week, but in general, we're seeing a drier trend and we'll have more updates on that precipitation next weekend as it gets as it gets closer. Thanks, Jacob. We'll have another news and weather update in 30 minutes.